So Ben, why would it be that Steve selected this location today? Um, so when we're changing holes, first thing we do is we look across the whole green for any signs of wear, anything like that, um, where old pin placements, things like that. So we're able to try and pick a pin position that is away from any of those sorts of things. Um, we'll also be looking for things like pinch marks, old disease scars, um, and obviously we'll repair those if you know if necessary. Um, so we've chosen this pin placement here today. We do a bit of testing before. Um, we pick where we're going to put the pin, um, so depending on green speeds, sort of varies where you can and can't put pin placements. Um, this is on a bit of a slope, um, but because the greens are a bit slower now going into winter, this is actually perfectly acceptable. Whereas potentially in summer, this probably wouldn't work as a placement because the greens would be a bit faster. Great. And what is it Steve's doing now with the cup? So Steve has taken the core um, with the hole changer. Um, he's taken the cup out from the old hole and he'll then replace it, he'll clean that and replace it into the new new position um, and then he'll take the core and replace it into the old old pin position. So you're essentially taking a part of the green and swapping it and putting it into the old old hole. Brilliant. And how many times on average a week do we need to change the holes on the golf course, both in winter and in summer? Um, so on the academy, because it has slightly less play, we change them twice a week. We do them on Mondays and Fridays. Um, and then on the main course, we change them in the uh, playing season. We change them three times a week. Uh, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That's great. And just in terms of any tips and tricks for the golfers out there, is there anything that we can do to help you as green staff with the pin positions? Um, I think the main thing is just repairing pitch marks. Um, that's, you know, we spend probably on average um, about between one to two man hours a day repairing pitch marks. Um, so if members were or their guests were able to repair pitch marks, that would be a huge help to us. Um, also just being careful when you're taking your ball out of the hole. Um, if you have putted with the flag in, just be careful that you're not ruining the edge of the hole when you retrieve your ball. Um, or ideally taking the pin out before you putt and then taking the ball out um, carefully. Just preventing any damage from the edge of the hole basically.